Hey guys, welcome to Natural and Thick. My name is Francesca. If you're new here, thanks for joining us today. I would love it if you would join my family and hit that subscribe button. You know, it really doesn't take much to hit the subscribe button, so just, just do it. I know that you've seen the title, and so I'm going to jump into that in just a second. But first, let me just preface this by letting you guys know that I already recorded this video. I realized that I left out some things, so I wanted to make sure that I covered most of the things that I did not cover in the first video that I recorded. I just want to make sure that you're aware in case you see any jump cuts going to my previous self and then me today. Disclaimer, okay? I am doing a new summer series and that series is called I Make Money Moves because that is what I'm trying to do. I'm going to be showing you guys different ways that you can make money quickly. So with that being said, I'm going to show you this first way that I decided to try to make some money. I decided to drive with DoorDash and so I'm going to be telling you the truth and everything that you need to know about driving for DoorDash so that you can make an informed decision if this will be a good opportunity for you to pursue in order for you to gain some extra income. The first thing I want to talk about is why I decided to drive for DoorDash. Like I said before, I'm trying to make money moves. My goal is to try to secure financial freedom and in order to do that, I think it's really necessary to have multiple streams of income. I do work a full-time job. A particular job that I work, I am always off in the summertime. And because of that, I have plenty of free time in order to try to earn additional income. So I've been dashing actually for two weeks. In addition to driving for DoorDash, I've also been driving for Uber Eats. If you're interested in seeing a video comparison between Uber Eats and DoorDash, please comment that down below because I have plenty to say about <laughs> which is better between DoorDash and Uber Eats. I can definitely tell you the pros and the cons for each of those companies. The first thing that I'm going to talk about today is the sign up process for DoorDash. I found that DoorDash had the most simple sign up process when compared to other uh, delivering services such as Postmates, Uber Eats, and Grubhub. Those are the primary food delivery services besides DoorDash. I'm going to walk you through that sign up process that way you know exactly what you need <laughs> in order to make it a smooth process for you. So step one, you're going to go to the website. Uh, just a little hint, you can go and click on the link down below and it will take you to my referral link. That way you can get a bonus. Once you reach a certain number of deliveries, you will receive a bonus from DoorDash, a monetary bonus, okay? Fill out your personal information and your vehicle information. So you're gonna be entering your name, your address, cell phone number, your driver's license information and your vehicle registration information and what kind of car you have, stuff like that. Once you enter all of your personal information, you're gonna ask for your permission to conduct a background check, your driving record, things of that nature. And on top of that, they're gonna make sure that you check the box, understanding that uh, you do need to have insurance on your vehicle. So I have my background check, the driving record, everything, all my documents were approved that same day. So they make you take a picture of your driver's license and I think they make you take a picture of your registration uploaded to their website and then they review it and then they come back and say, okay, congratulations. They're gonna make you attend an orientation. There's two options for the orientation. You can either choose to do your orientation online or you can choose to go to the region facility or the region office. And ain't nobody got time for that. So of course, you know your girl, she chose the online setup. So the online orientation is simply just a video that you have to watch. It's a super short video that you have to watch and it's definitely shorter than this video that you're watching right now. If you choose to go the online route, they're going to mail your activation kit. If you were to go to the actual office to do your orientation, they would give you your activation kit there in their office. But I did the online version, so they mailed me my kit. It took about four business days for it to actually arrive. In the activation kit, I'm gonna jump over to my previous self because I've already explained that in detail, so. So it came with this DoorDash bag and it's basically a insulated bag to make sure that when you are delivering food, it keeps the food hot. It has a little zipper. Um, it's pretty sturdy, but I think I'm gonna probably order another one. This was free. I did not have to pay for this. The other thing that they send you is a debit card. They call it a red card. And it's basically used in order to pay for some of the orders. And I'm back. <laughs> Step five, you're going to download the Dasher app. You can find that in your Google Play Store or your App Store on iOS. 
All right, so now we're gonna talk about what my experience has been like driving for DoorDash. The first day was honestly amazing. I had so much fun. I had an adrenaline <laughs> rush. It was just super exciting to me. The customers were awesome. And on top of that, I made $19.37 in an hour. To me, that's really good money for a little part-time side hustle. So day two, I drove only for two hours and I made $31.09 and still I only had three customers. Since there was only three customers, I had a little bit of downtime. And so during that downtime, I went to Target, I did some, some shopping and it was cool. That first week that I started driving for DoorDash, I only drove for two days. So that first week I drove a total of three hours and I made $50.46. And on top of that, the distance that I had been driving was super short like literally somebody ordered something from cold stone and they stayed right around the corner so that was amazing <laughs> this is when sugar honey iced tea hit the fan what i started to notice was that after those first two days many of the orders that i started to have had longer distances so like instead of me driving like a mile it was increasing to like five miles or six miles and if you live in an area that i live in driving five or six miles can quickly turn into madness because of traffic in this particular area if you're driving longer distances in this area that's more time that you're spending on one particular order and that's less time that you have to make money from other orders that could be coming in i had four different orders that ended up coming to a particular restaurant it's a na nationwide chain i'm not gonna put them on blast but they are known for selling barbecue and i have four different orders that came through over these past couple of weeks and they were all for this same barbecue restaurant and it was always a 20 to 30 minute wait. The problem with that is that DoorDash has time limits for everything. They tell you what time you should pick up the food at the restaurant. They tell you what time you should be arriving to the customer's home. Because that restaurant is late, it's going to make you late to the delivery and then that's going to affect your ratings. <music> You go into the app, you go to ratings, and then it has different categories. So the first category is going to be your average customer rating. And they want you to maintain a five-star rating or somewhere near that. And it's based off of the last hundred deliveries that you have done. My acceptance rate is a 90%. Um, the acceptance rate is the number of orders you accepted out of the last 100 delivery opportunities. The next category is going to be your completion rate. My completion rate is 100%. So basically it just means that once you accept the order, you go, you follow through and you deliver that order. The next category is on time or early. This percentage is the number of orders you have completed by the estimated delivery time or within five minutes. So let me tell you the good things about driving for DoorDash. You can create a schedule and that kind of will help to guarantee that you at least get a couple of orders because you are scheduled to work that day. The Dasher app is super easy to use. I do like the fact that you can kind of see when the order comes in, you can see the distance between the restaurant and the customer so that you know um, how far you're going to be going and I do appreciate the fact that they tell you your guaranteed amount before you accept the dash I do like the fact that it connects to Google Maps which makes it easy to navigate DoorDash does offer instant pay but in order for you to be able to get instant pay you have to have delivered 25 made 25 deliveries and you have to have a debit card set on file i believe in order for you to get the instant pay i don't need the instant pay i'll just wait for it for me to get paid because they do pay out every week they pay out on mondays and it's usually in my bank account by tuesday i did spend about 30 dollars on gas this week and i made 137 dollars and some change for doordash and then i made additional money from uber eats now i've seen videos where people talk about how they were driving for doordash and they made 700 dollars in a week but i'm gonna be honest with you those people are either working all day long or they're working all night long or they're you know they're just spending a great deal of their time working i'm not doing that i'm not about that life problems the main problem that I have with DoorDash is the fact that the distance is out of control. So like for instance, yesterday I was driving and it kept taking me out of my zone. So the zone says that I'm supposed to work in this particular area. Every order I got for DoorDash yesterday, it took me out of the zone. And 
the amount wasn't worth the amount of miles that I put on my car. It seems like DoorDash is using your tips to supplement the guaranteed pay and I don't think that that's fair. DoorDash tends to want to push you to areas that you don't necessarily want to go to. So it was often a dollar peak you have to accept at least 80% of your orders. So a lot of the orders that were coming in were for Old Town. I don't like driving in Old Town because Old Town is like a downtown area and it's super busy, it's super congested and there's no parking. But I had already rejected one, so I was like, well, let me accept this next one. The problem is, is that he wanted me to go from Northern Virginia to Southern Maryland. I was going to be making, I think it said 1181 or 1081. I can't remember now. Nope, it was 1181. It tells me to go to the restaurant, which is in Old Town. And I was able to find parking. However, it took so long. So it was rush hour, it's raining, and I'm already in a congested area. At the time that DoorDash gave me to deliver to the customer was so unrealistic. They thought that I was gonna be able to make it to the customer within 15 minutes, and that was going to be impossible. I did what you should do if this ever happens. I contacted the customer, I told the customer that, hey, you know, I just wanted to give you a status update. I am currently in traffic. Weather conditions have worsened because it was thunderstorming and it was like a freaking tsunami outside. He was uh, very understanding. And by the time I made it there, it took so long. I don't remember how long it took. When I made it to him, the guy was so nice. He was so grateful um, that I still came and delivered his food. And he t ended up tipping me $27 in cash. I was so ecstatic. Then I went on the app and then I noticed something. I got paid $11.81 to drive to this location. And what I noticed was that the guy had tipped me ten dollars so really doordash only paid me a dollar and 81 to deliver to this customer which is a freaking travesty but i'm still gonna drive for them i'm also driving for uber if you're interested in seeing how uber works or a comparison between doordash and uber please let me know down in the comments below and i will be happy to make a video about that if you're looking for a way to supplement your full-time income i do think that this is a good option you can work when you want if it's busy in a particular area you can choose to dash now or you can schedule yourself and sometimes the schedules are as short as 30 minutes or they're as long as all day so if you're looking for an option to supplement your income, I do recommend DoorDash as an option because it will give you a little extra cash. If you're working towards a short-term goal, DoorDash is definitely a viable option that you can choose to make additional income. If you guys have any questions about DoorDash, if you have any questions about Uber Eats or anything like that, uh, please make sure that you leave those questions down below and I will be sure to either make a video responding to your questions or I will just answer you in the comments below. That concludes video number one. So stay tuned for episode two of I Make Money Moves. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, deuces.